What we've seen in the United States versus what we're seeing here in Europe is just a different thing. For example, um, fixed product over long periods of time is a much bigger product than banking there. Uh, you guys using UK housing as an example, adjustable rates are a bigger product here. So you guys had to deal with more pain when rates went higher in the short term versus the United States having to deal with the imbalance on the bank balance sheets. Okay? I think that's an important thing to note. Um, but, uh, but I don't think there's a contagion risk here. In other words, this is an asset liability mismatch of the banks. Um, is this a widespread thing? The answer is no. But in Credit Suisse case, it was because you, if you have a run on the bank, it doesn't matter what your assets are, you, you have no deposits. There's still a lot to work through here. And can I just bring a note of caution around whether this is good short term for UBS given the stock moves we're seeing? Because there is the employee issue. We've already had a pushback sure. from some quarters saying be careful about how many jobs you shed at this point. And Credit Suisse had already fessed up a large amount of job cuts with its reorganization. There's thought to be more to go today whether the joint entity can hold on to all of the business. It might be too concentrated in some areas of wealth management. Sure. So um, uh, just let me throw in the, the compensation, deferred compensation issues for Credit Suisse and more regulatory oversight. Could all this be a negative for UBS? Well, I mean, a bigger negative for just the investment banking world at large is that investment banking has gone off a cliff for about two years. So um, is it adding uh, salt to the wound? Yes, it probably is. But would you want to be Goldman Sachs or Barclays or a, a, a large investment bank waking up with one less competitor over the next five years? Uh, unquestionably. And, and by the way, that's, that's why uh, UBS is paying as little as they are. They don't want the investment bank to be there. The whole idea of Credit Suisse versus Boston coming back, that's gone as well. So I, I think the prospect is we're going to see consolidation both in the United States. I, I think what this should do in Europe there must be consolidation here. It's been lagging for so long. We now have the Swiss champion, the national champion. Um, we, you know, we, we need more consolidation in Italy. We need more consolidation really across Europe because the return on capital has to go higher. And one of the ways to do that is just run less in expenses. There's two sides to that coin, though. The shrinkage of the banking system in mm -hmm. Switzerland yeah. in some ways brings negative connotations with it, that there's just not as much diversity, that there's only one big international global bank. Correct. Uh, but match that against what we've seen in recent years, that the American banks are cleaning up when it comes to, to market Correct. share in many positions. How do you think UBS competes in that context with that negativity around Credit Suisse and, and the cleanup that's been required here versus what they've seen in recent years against the, the challenge from American peers? Well, the, the regulations that came in post great financial crisis, whether we're talking about Basel rules or any of these rules, um, you know, the systematically important banks, et cetera, uh, what they did is they made the biggest banks stronger because, again, they had certain safeguards where they had to hold more capital. But on, on the flip side was that it also became very tough to compete in the regulatory environment if you were a smaller size bank because scale became a, a really big game. So to your point, you're seeing big deposit flows into the biggest, safest banks. Um, that's happening in the United States. That's happening in Europe. Um, the flip side is that you know, deposit flows are hurting the smaller institutions. So all this is pointing. You, the, the politicians didn't say, oh, by the way, let's, let's hurt the small banks. But that's what they ended up doing. Um, the more regulation actually slowed the capital markets, the entrepreneurialism in the markets. And so I think we're going to continue to see that. But again, it's because the return on capital has to go high enough in these entities for people to want to be present as investors. And that's what Credit Suisse's biggest problem was. I mean, they're posting large losses, sub subpar returns on capital, and UBS didn't have those issues.